Hey, Brian, I've learned that the White House is studying whether to temporarily suspend patent protections for vaccines and treatments uh, developed to treat COVID-19 in response to specific requests from South Africa and India who have uh, lodged a formal request at the World Trade Organization to get access to these medicines. And so far, the issue has been tabled on a global scale. But now I've learned that it's risen to the highest levels within the Biden administration, according to three sources familiar with the matter. As recently as Monday of this week, a meeting of deputy level policymakers convened to discuss the issue. But I'm told by my sources that no decision was reached, although privately House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, uh, many of the members of her caucus have supported this move behind the scenes, that she has sent a private letter to the White House expressing her own support uh, for pursuing such a move. You can imagine there is fierce debate on either side of this discussion. On one hand, pharmaceutical companies say that this would compromise medical innovation uh, in the future. On the other hand, you have many developing nations who say uh, that they would like access to these medicines, and they argue that wealthier nations are essentially hoarding these medicines that they've developed. Uh, in the words of one source who's familiar with some of the support among progressive lawmakers here in the U.S., they say, uh, we're not all safe until everyone is safe. Brian, we should note, I just got a statement in from the office of the U.S. Trade Representative, who will have jurisdiction over over this issue and who I believe will make the final decision. And it says that they are uh, using every avenue to coordinate with their global partners. Back to you. Yeah, that can open it up broadly to your point to more manufacturing, to sharing facilities, to sharing supply chains and distribution and getting us past that two and a half million mark a day where we stand right now.